Looks like we're being live streamed. All right. Can you see us? Looking to see. I can hear us. I mean, it, I just had a warning. Oh, okay. So I don't see us. I think we are. Oh, we're backwards on there. Oh, here we are. We are live. I can see us. Why do I look so pale? That's your natural. You don't get in the sun. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Moon tan. Is that? That casket you sleep in every night. <laughs> I know if I if I get in the sun, I don't tan. I stroke. <laughs> hey, we got guys in live chat. We're good. Um, so let's wait All till right. twelve, and let yeah, me let me explain. Dang, how can I turn off our? Wait a minute, because I'm hearing. Yeah, all you got to do is go in. Are you on the page? All I did was go yeah. in, mute <laughs> uh, the sound, and then pop out the live chat so it's separate and it comes up on top of your desk and you can see it. Right. Oh, man, this is so confusing. You guys know how to do that? Yeah, yeah. I got it. Uh, I got it running There's, right there's three little dots beside top chat. If you go hit those three little dots, it'll allow you to, to pop out. And the chat will separate from the page. This is hilarious. <laughs> I, I do. Uh, it, it, I spent five minutes on here. Be, you know, bef uh, Mark, before this whole, before we started, I was trying to figure it out. And I'm over here turning around and I've got these things on where it looks like I'm wearing these things that hold your glasses on. Yes, Ouch. I know them well. I know them and well. So it looks like <laughs> I, I have well. on hearing aids and people are like, you've got hearing aids? And I'm like, no, I don't have hearing aids. <laughs> and then it's funny, it's the only time I wear around. glasses is when I'm sitting in front of a screen, you know, so. You got to get a pair of these, man. They're awesome. You get a whole bunch from Amazon. They yeah, work. I'll try them. I'll try them for this. But of course, you can see anything on mine because there's no hair to cover anything. Right. So can you can you see us live now? Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Can. Yeah, I can't. I can't. If you go to our page, go to the channel page, you'll oh. see an icon. Click that and bring it up. Okay. And then you can separate live chat out from that as a pop-up. Uh, right. Are we in the wrong spots, Scott? Um, I, I think I corrected it, but because on Somebody mine, just said, like, please get in the right spots. There's a reason I said I'm trying that. to, and I've, I don't know how this is working. This is so confusing. Hang on a second. Let me get, uh, Chase, don't start getting the shits and giggles. Cause if you do, I will, and I won't be able to stop, dude. <laughs> it's not funny. Be like those baby so, pictures of us. Someone did a great job out on the, oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. I'm going to have to look at both of these and see if I can get us. Okay, I'm going to put me back over there. Let's see if that changes. There's there's a delay, everybody. So I've got to wait on the thing to okay, change. That's fine. Hey, Sadie, buckle up. We know you're there. Buckle up. This is going <laughs> to get weird. We're going to have half hate and half love on this one, I guarantee you. Let's see. Okay, the behavior panel Jim, lock. Every time I... Oh, yeah, I see us. Yeah, we're live. Is Chase top right? <laughs> I can't get this figured out. Let me go see how we look, and I'll tell you. Hold on. So, you should put me bottom right on yours if it's mirrored. I think it's bottom left. No, I would be bottom. I'll tell you left. if you need to move us. Hold on. Who the hell's my? I knew we should have done this for more than half an hour. It's going to take us thirty minutes to figure it out. All right. So many people my like here. They start their. Yeah, as you can see, we're like, not yeah, technical. Welcome. So we don't know it's see what's coming in. All right. Big shout hey, out to Scott. Hey. Scott, right now, Chase yeah. is in Chase is where I should be, and I'm where I'm oh, where yeah, that's right. Mark should be. Okay. Right now, I've but the way it looks to me is Chase is up where I am. Well, we're yeah. seeing what <laughs> we're seeing what everybody else is seeing, though. Yeah, yeah. that's so yeah. I'm in the right place. Yeah, yeah, Mark's in the right place. Me trade. Me with Chase and see what happens. No, no, no. Switch me and Greg first. It doesn't matter. You got to do both. So <laughs> it's like, do you remember those things where you had to make words and you had to move the little? Yeah. yeah. So you're right, Scott. Scott, you're right to move Chase first, you and Chase, <coughs> and then move me with Chase and you'll be right. Move you. I, I'm not using left and right with you guys. I know that's a waste of time. <laughs> I know. I, I can't do it either. Mark's worse than me, though. Just so everybody knows, Mark's dyslexia is so bad he can't drive. Yeah. I don't think I'm uh, 
Yeah. Well, the police Talk may school. The police may categorize me that way. I don't know. <laughs> no, dude, you've got a you've got a serious adrenaline problem. So I just I just saw one as we're sitting here. I just saw one question come through there, which is, are we going to do videos where people tell the truth? Which I think you know that that the, yeah, there have Talk been a lot. perfect. There, there have been videos where we've said, hey, these people are telling the truth, and it and they've been shown to be telling the truth a few come to mind but we were talking about some videos just the other day weren't we where we know that somebody's been taken in by the police and they're being questioned and and they haven't done anything <laughs> and they're being quite yeah. aggressively questioned by the by the cops well, well, for that. example if you if you were to go look at cleo smith that's a great one that's a great one yeah because we knew early right yeah oh yeah 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 Scott, are you going to move us or are we going to stay this way? I'm happy. You no, I've been, I've been moving you. I've moved everybody around. It's still stuck on my Zoom, that on my version this way, but online it's something else. Yeah, because there's a lag, isn't there? So it'll it'll take it uh, yeah. a bit of time. Four years. I sat on here for about five minutes and didn't know I was live. I was over here talking to me. You know, you saw me. All, it, was, it was horrible. Look, if that's all you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> but Greg, you got to get some of these, man. You got to get some of these uh, ear, these things that hook onto your glasses. I I'm swear, man, this. it's and I learned. I got it from Mark. Yeah, yeah, these are yeah, great. You guys yeah. have hair to cover that stuff up. You know? Right. I just got these big ears to hide stuff on. Well, if you turn yeah, it Rona, here, Rona Page here was saying, yeah, Cleo, Cleo Smith is a good example. People want to yeah, see yeah. us uh, recognizing that somebody is telling the truth. The Cleo Smith case is great. It's actually one of my favorites because so many people were saying these parents did something to their child. Yeah, I mean, statistically, that's going to yep. be, you, you know, in the casino, statistically, you could you could win. That's right. <laughs> Apart from winning. Well, and, and Mark, one of the things I say to people all the time is everybody says, how accurate is this, what we're doing? We usually say, yeah, if you're 50, we're 55 to 60. But when you get four of us together and we don't talk about it and we come to the same conclusion, sure. chances are really good that it's much higher. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. I was talking about the uh, listening to some people talking about the whole uh, UFO thing and and getting getting data from that from many different angles in order to get more accurate about yeah. what a, a phenomenon might be uh, in in the sky. And I guess, look, you know, we, we, we can probably get more accurate than most because we have potentially four different angles in many in many cases on something. And the first time we discussed this, you guys are watching it live. I mean, you're watching us on video. The first time we discussed these videos, we don't talk about them beforehand. Matter of fact, Scott's really good about going, yeah, stop. If we start <laughs> yeah. talking before the camera's in. I'm going to try one more thing. All right. You may not be able to move us. Guys, we know this is probably going to be, and people are here. We can say, we know that we might be in the wrong places. Just tolerate us for our first live with you. And next time we'll have it tighter. Yeah, yeah, we gotta watch our. Don't forget, we gotta watch our mouth on here, <laughs> or we'll just decide to do it how we want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no stress inducing here. So it's twelve. All right, so okay, I've got the chat go. pumped out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got me too. Guys, so what we'll do the, is we'll take questions. Just a heads from, up, I've got yeah. Sadie in here asking me or sending questions as well. So we'll look at these. If she sends some good ones, we'll use those as well. Sorry, Sadie. I was out of the, this is so, we, we just decided to do this the last minute. So it's a little confusing right now. Next time we won't, it won't be as confusing. Yeah. Like, so like the whole asking, of our channel experience, we are making this up as we go along. That's we, right. On exactly. our, our analysis, but you know, how to do this stuff. We're always making it up. As we go along, so, nobody knows how to do this. And Mark, somebody just to ask, what is the subject? Anything is the subject of this intro. This first 30 minutes is us going to answer questions, interact with you live. This is the best chance we have to do it. And then at 1230, there's a premiere, and it's about the UAP hearings at Congress. Mm. Okay, there's one here. Look, um, how do you deal with unresponsive people? I think that's pretty interesting how how do you i'd like to hear that for greg you must have had some unresponsive people in your time yeah so there are a bunch of ways let me give you a great example now this is a harsh example but if you ever want to go see what harsh looks like go watch we can make you talk on the history channel where we had a guy who refused to talk we just used the people around him and made them really miserable until he gave up and started talking to us and all we wanted him to do was answer some simple questions 
What you typically have to do, however, is to just continue, continue. We use something we call repetition, you know, sentence repetition, question repetition. You just keep asking. Or among the best possible things is silence. Sit in the room with them and just listen. Joe Sh uh, Jack Schaefer and Joe Navarro came up with a formula where they said rapport equals proximity times intensity. And if you know the bridge experiment where there's a young woman standing on the bridge and everybody thought she was more attractive because of the intensity of walking out to her, that's the way it works. You get there until they feel like they need to say something. That's the best way. Mm, good. And I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't maybe assume that the person's talking about interrogation uh, in just everyday life. Uh, we also encounter those people who are kind of non-responsive. And in normal social human world, uh, I would say people who are non-responsive will respond to two types of conversational prompts. Number one is a compliment on what they feel a little bit insecure about. And number two is asking them for advice about something that you're fascinated with and they're an expert at. So you have some ignorance about the subject and a fascination, and they are somehow an expert or they see themselves as an expert. And you just described what um, what Nolan calls naivete. Yeah, that's a powerful tool. And the other with Nolan, the provocative statement, as you age and you're sitting on a bench, you can sit and go, ah, oh, and the person next to you may go, oh, yeah, I feel your pain, my friend. Or you can yawn. That gets people started making conversation. The read technique has a whole thing on that. Has like there's a whole um, section on how to get through that, but it's all interrogation stuff. Nobody to be into. I don't think. Well, I think it could be either. They could be asking both. That's good. Yeah. Uh, there was a question here, which was, um, "What have you learned from from each other?" I, I think this is like the longest training that I've ever been on in my, yeah. in my life. I don't think I've ever worked with the same people for so long ever, <laughs> ever. <laughs> That's true. Ever, ever in my ever in my uh in my life so far so the great thing about this for me is like i learn uh every week either either i learn that i might be right which is always good it's like okay they came up with the same thing that that's interesting sometimes i i learn that i might be wrong i'm like oh okay i've maybe got this wrong uh but all the time i learn uh you know new things which is i mean there's i, I can't put my finger on one thing because there's so many things but Thanks. i will say it's just it's the longest training that I've ever ever been on and it is like a training it's it's great it's great I've learned so much I have a special notebook that I take notes in when I learn stuff with you while we're recording so like if you ever see me kind of like do this while somebody's talking it's typically I picked something up that jogged a memory or like I, I'm genuinely learning something new there yeah it's nice. I know it all so I think I've probably <laughs> no. yeah. Now, how can we not learn something every time? I mean, that that's crazy even to think that. I mean, every time we do this, there's something. We all come from a different um, situation or a different direction when it comes from when we're, when we're talking about uh, the videos we're looking at. Mark comes from a completely different place than Greg is coming from, and then where Chase and I are coming from, and then Greg comes from a not a completely different, but a, a, his. And interrogation is a lot different than my experience in interrogation as it is in uh, difference in Chase's experience in, in interrogation. So we, we all come from, from different, we approach it at different angles. So that's why we all say something different. However, a lot of times when you see, when somebody's talking, you see us do this, you see this in our facial expressions, you just go, and then you see us <laughs> mark something off. That means that somebody's gotten your thing that you're waiting that on. That happens all the time. Nobody got. Yeah. So, and I go last most of the time. And I figured out why I go last because I talk first. I, the, I'm, I come in an intro and I'm always talking first. I go, so it feels like I've already gone, I think, unless you guys have colluded against me. We've colluded I'm against you. We've colluded. Don't you notice the hand signals <laughs> that we're constantly doing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, the, for, for me, guys, I think it's a combination. Mark, you said it. I've been, you know, I've been a corporate guy and I've been an interrogator. When you're an interrogator, you move every year and a half or two years. When you're a corporate guy, you change jobs. This is the longest running job I've had. And you guys, I learn something new every time we get together because it's a different angle. It's also a different life experience and a different path we took to get here. So we all have a little bit different nuance, which is why I say, if all four of us see the same thing, I'm pretty close to sure we're on it. There was an interesting question here. What do we admire in, in 
each other. You know what I admire? I admire people who show up again and again and again and again. <laughs> like that is the like and stay, you know, showing up and then sticking with it. Because in, in my view, that's the only way you can you can stand a chance of success is showing up again and again and again and, and sticking with it. And, and and a lot of people just don't do that. But we seem to manage so far to be able to keep keep going. So I, I admire that for sure. Somebody, somebody just asked, what does it mean when somebody covers their mouth when they talk? And I do, I get complaints all the time about me doing that because I do this and I can't help it. It's one of those things that it's part of, a, you would call it part of my baseline. Mm -hmm. I do that a lot for some reason, because I'm usually thinking, and when I think I usually do this or I'm goofing around up in here. So I think I do that. And I get so many people that say, stop covering your mouth. I can't, you know, I can't see I'm in the middle of something or I'm watching or I can't listen very loud and I can't, I, I can't tell what you're saying. So it's like, geez. But it can mean everything if it's yeah. not part of their That's baseline and they suddenly cover their mouth. Yeah. So yeah. keep in mind, when you see us do things on here, like you'll see a quick shoulder shrug and all that, or our, like somebody said yesterday, Scott's eyebrow went up. He's not He's not being honest about whatever it was. No, we're not, I'm not being asked a question. I'm telling you what I think about something. So these things that, that people attribute to you, to a person will say, ah, oh, this happened. So that suggests or indicates that because this happened as well. If we do those in a row, we're not under any stress. We're not under, we're not being asked any questions. So it doesn't mean we're not being honest or anything about what we're saying. It's just, that's just part of what's happening. We may be thinking, I'm always saying thinking a lot. I wish I was a bigger thinker than I'm coming on as I am. But here's a great so question. Great, great question. Do you guys consider yourselves friends or just colleagues? Oh, really? both. Both. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very much sure. so. And one of the things that I think is cool about having us together is that uh, Greg and I were both military, but we are very, very different uh, in our approach. And all four of us have what I would think was like these different camera angles uh, looking at a situation. And a lot of times I'll be prepping for a show or like writing notes down and be like, God, I hope all, I hope the dudes don't disagree with me. Like I, <laughs> And because we never compare anything. And if all four camera angles are showing the same thing happening, I think that's when it that's when the true power we have expertise, of course, we're top of our field, we're near the top of the field. Uh, and we're radically different backgrounds and viewpoints and what I would just call perspective. We've got the four perspectives here. And I, that's the coolest thing for me. Cool. Agreed. Agreed. Greg, what's the coolest thing for you? Yeah, no, I think it's the same. I, I think when we first pulled this together, we, we sat and said, what is this going to be? And we said, we're just going to get together and talk about body language. And we progressively have gotten to the point where we, Jung said, it, when two people meet, they're like chemical reagents, they're never the same. The four of us speak a common language, a core language. Now we all use each other's language. And then new things come up all the time. I mean, we all have a whole lot of common language. And I think as a result, people out there have our common language. It's the reason the bingo cape card works for us. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. What about you, Mark? Uh, you know, I'm going to go on another question here. It said, it said, how long did it take for Mark to start to like Scott? <laughs> Why do people say that? They say that about me. I, I mean, they like go, when Mark talks, Scott, Scott looks like I I'm reading. I know that. So we, so we knew each other way before we started. And Scott yeah. had been helping on this book with me and Tracy right. for, I don't know, like yeah. a year or two years before we yeah, did yeah. this. I don't know. So, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, be careful when you read body, body language. Yeah. It's that a Rorschach back, test, you know? Yeah, it goes back to what I was saying, just because you see something on there. Because when, when the other ones are talking, we've got stuff on our screen a lot of times that's up there too. We're reading it, so we're going like that where it looks like we think that what does that mean full of it or we yeah. Go, hmm. yeah and it's yeah. something you should totally be going no nah, but we're going yeah yeah i mean I'm just going, when like, we make a show we're on here for like two or three hours and so all kinds of stuff is going through our heads i'm like you know there's stuff happening outside the window that's distracting me there's you know somebody be you know cooking dinner or i should be cooking dinner and i'm like oh, guys i don't need to be cooking yeah. dinner. or scott has a raccoon in the attic or i have a squirrel in the attic we've had that happen when we're recording yeah. you guys just don't know what's going on does the here's, show up here's yeah. a good question uh how do you feel about the lie to me tv show it's from a question from marta 
Uh, well, I like Tim Roth. Tim Roth is fantastic. I mean, number one, it's got Tim Roth in it, which I think is 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 great, and it's a good drama. Is it is it ac- is it accurate? I think some elements of it, some elements of it have some ac- but it's a drama, isn't it? So it's a, you know, obviously it's not yeah. true. Okay, there there was an interview of of him, and I actually talked to him once about that. He won't remember it, but I called him. To Ekman or Roth? Home. Ekman. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I said. Well, because you see that stuff and you go, hey, man, what what about this, this and this? And he said, it's TV. Yeah. I said, well, well, but they said this and this. He said, it's TV. And what they would do is they would that he's he was the guy that was in charge of everything. So they check with him on everything. But he said when they would check with him, they just go ahead and do the thing they were going to do already anyway. But they say, oh, yeah, OK, let's take care of that. There's an interview where he talks about that as well. This was this was years ago when that when that show first started. I was like, wow. Yep, yep. You know, I saw the interview. Because people would come over, we watch that, and I was like, this isn't right. So I was like, oh no. And then, but because people would look at that and go, wow, that's the way I'm going to do it. But it was it's TV. He's right. It's it's a TV show, you know. So well, guys, even put- even when you do the real TV, even when you do live TV, like I've done the reenactments oh, of yeah. interrogation for UK Four. I've done them for History Channel they have to have a certain amount of TV to what they do. And they'll tell you that there's a certain amount of TV people. I would tell people interrogation doesn't work that way. Well, that's what people think when well, they're wrong. Well, your, your version's boring. Yeah, it pretty much yeah. is. That's what I'd always say to them. Yeah. 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 Or when you're, if you notice, like when we do the news, you notice that the parts they pull like this, one, I did this one where I was telling how I didn't think how I thought, uh, what's his name? Hurman, Rex Hurman. There are going to be more people they found. And I did this. I said, here now, here's what's in other words, I said, here's what's gonna happen next. They're gonna find other people. You don't start this at 50. They put it all the way up to there and they left that part out. I guess so. Maybe he would think I'm I'm saying he's accusing him of something. I don't think he's gonna come after me. I mean, I, I wouldn't think. But they'll they'll choose the most showy part of what you do, which is cool. I get it, you know. But that's my experience anyway. Somebody said, I don't look like I like them. I said, this is my happy face. So just so you know. Oh, yeah. Trust me. I've <laughs> That's seen that great. Happy face. That's his birthday party face, too. He has birthday parties. It like is. This. And we got a uh, super question from Mary Giles. Okay. Do you guys play cards together or can you read each other too well for poker or spades, et cetera? And, and one more super thanks uh, from Nadia Brooke here. Lovely. Let me ask you a question. What is poker? Is that the one with the cards? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I don't play yeah. cards. Well, oh, more importantly, one. we've only been together twice in the entire time we've done this show, guys. One was for Dr. Phil and then one was for a live event. So we would be playing cards oh, over wow. Zoom if we did. It doesn't true. feel like that, does it? It no. doesn't feel like I've known you guys my whole life. So let me yeah. let me address the poker thing. There was a, a chapter at the end of this book on poker, which what I said in that is if you can't do the math, if you haven't got the math right, there's no point in knowing about the body language. Okay, if you don't, so um, and and I personally don't don't have the capacity or the willpower to know the math enough about poker, so I I lose a poker because it doesn't matter whether I think somebody's bluffing or not. I don't understand the value of my own hand. OK, so, you know, and so you've got to understand the value of your own hand and the value of somebody else's. And then you've got to know, are they bluffing about the value? I think that the value of their hand is this. I know the value of my hand is this, but I think they're bluffing about that. And here's why. So, I, no, I would never I would never look at body language in poker. Personally, let me tell you something. I just got a good one on here from Patrick. And it says, are. Are any of you autistic or have ADD, ADHD? We're not autistic, but when it comes to ADHD, I'll go ahead and say, what's up, fellow HD, ADHDers, or have you say it correctly? I'm dyslexic Thanks. as well. Yeah. So I thought question. it was funnier than it was. Super question from Marty Ferguson. Have you seen Faking It Tears of a Crime? I've never heard of that. Me either. No, no, it's show. No, don't know. Is it a show? Or are you saying people faking tears during a crime? It I sounded like that was the title of the show. Yeah, I haven't seen the show either. Maybe I have and don't remember the. Co- what it, I've seen so much of this true crime thing since we started this. I don't remember one show the next. I usually remember names. So if you could tell us the case, maybe Marty. Oh, good one from Karen Matlock. It's a super question. Would you guys be allowed to serve in jury duty? 
Well, I, I have am, got myself can, out of it on a number of occasions. Yeah, yeah same here. <laughs> yeah. I just have to say, I've done it twice and, I've, and both times got kicked out of there. And all you got to do is say, <laughs> I'm a body language expert and analyst. And I train law enforcement in the military yeah. interrogation and body language. And they yeah. go, oh, okay. Yeah. Get, you want coffee on the way out? See you later, <laughs> Betty. My first yeah. ever jury duty in the county I live in, I was launching my first book, How to Spot a Liar. And I had to, you had to have a reason you couldn't be there. So I sent my book launch information to the local people. And they said, we won't be calling you again. Now, whether they do again or not, I don't know, but that was a long time I, ago. I was active duty military for 20 years, so we don't really get called up for jury duty. Right. So I've never done it. I've never even, I've selected a whole lot of juries, but I've never right. been. Yeah. Well, that's all you have to do is say, no, I'm on the other side usually. Uh, let's see. Well, there, Helena. Yeah, Isn't that's it weird how we know name. a lot of the people that are in here, how we know their names. So, like Helena asked a question about yeah. reading um, about what are our thoughts on the Maui disaster and the President Biden reaction. I, it's tough. I haven't watched Biden enough to say what is he doing here, here, here. And it's such a complex thing when you have a disaster. The federal government's role. I, I don't think we'll delve into that when I really do appreciate the question. If we have video, we may watch it at some point. But we try as a generality, and you guys please weigh in on this one, not to be political in what we do on our show. We try to say if a guy does something really profoundly stupid and puts himself in the limelight, that is a different story from a politician. But in terms of general politics, we try really hard not to delve into that. Fair? All I can say about the Maui piece, and I know Chase spent a lot of time in Hawaii as well. Um, just it's so tragic to see there's places that I know really well there. Um, you know, and there's UFOs that I've seen. <laughs> Around then, and Chase, you Let's may have, have been it. Chase, you may have been responsible for some of those. Uh, yeah, what's your UFO story, Mark? Wait a minute, hang on. Everybody. Oh, I mean, just what if you, you if you're in Hawaii, you're seeing you're seeing stuff in the Aircraft. sky at night that you just don't. Oh. You like what? That why is that light moving so slowly? It's it's a helicopter. Is it a helicopter? Yes, but it makes no noise. Ah, though it that, thus it can't be. Though we know it most likely is. You know, so. Um, you know, it's a great place to see phenomenon that you just wouldn't normally see, but tragic to see it on on fire. I think Mark was editing in there, and I believe you, you're you under the impression you saw a UFO. Is that correct? Oh, I certainly have seen uh, flying objects that I could not identify at at the time. Yeah, for sure. Depends on how late at night and how much men. wine. I don't know. Probably. It was little green men <laughs> if Chase was in a little green costume at the time, <laughs> you know. Why is Chase the only one who has the YouTube play button not in sight? I like to keep things simple. Because he's a rebel. Play button not in sight. Hmm. He, he's, he's, he's not he, showing up behind. Mark has his. Okay. He took it from him. <laughs> Any tips on fast de-escalation? Asymmetric behavior. Oh. Asymmetric behavior. Don't, right, don't ramp it. up. Yeah. So asymmetric behavior means you start yelling at me and I just go, yeah. And I, I react calmly. What happens is the person feels really stupid after they escalate. You And you, as long as you stay not escalated or using your thinking brain, not your cat brain, so you're less likely to do something stupid and get hurt as well. So yeah. I usually say, now there are situations, Chase and I both have been in situations where that's not an option. That's a different story. But asymmetric behavior is the most powerful thing you can do. My, my best technique for that is walk away for 10 minutes at least 10 minutes. A heightened emotion can't usually sustain for more than 10 minutes. So if you're feeling one, you just say, you know what, I'm just going to step out for a moment. I'll be back in 10 minutes. By the time you come back, you often just can't remember what you were so annoyed, upset, angry about, because it's it's dissipated uh, from a heightened emotion into uh, a feeling. It may have developed into a mood, uh, but that but the mood might be more easy to control than the heightened emotion. Check this out. Here's one from uh, Sadie found. So do you guys feel that limiting or limiting or removing intake of television has a positive impact on sharpening perception or skills or perception and skills? I think if you, if you, depending on what you watch, mm. you know, watch the news, you're going to see a lot of, you know, deception. Let's say we got to watch. Oh, them there's also uh, exposure to advertising, uh, which makes you do, two things extremely well. It covertly trains you. One, uh, the number one goal of advertising is to make you compare yourself to other people. 
And it's your brain versus a trillion dollar system. Uh, and you're not going to win. There's no inoculation against that. So exposure to that stuff is a little bit bad. And it also makes you question who you are. Like, am I good enough? I need more. I need more. I'm not good enough. I haven't watched TV in uh, 22 years. So, well, thanks to you guys, I watch a whole lot more TV than I did before. <laughs> I have to buy here's, these videos the every thing. week. It makes me somebody, crazy. Somebody earlier asked, "How do you guys find the subjects to do?" And let me before you before we get into this, let me say something. I'm going to say this right now about Greg. If anything, if, if Greg's integrity ever comes into question and they say did i wonder if he's the guy that did this and they come in and check his computer all they're going to see is all the how do, you know, somebody killed somebody how do you it's all murder and all these things in his uh google in his search history so let's it's talk true. about how we go about doing how we, how we get a show together what happens because it's now we got about seven minutes left yeah so why don't we yes. make this the last one here's what usually this is a go great ahead. and it's a super question from Quirk Frame Industries. How do you guys feel about MBTI? Uh, personality types. I don't feel personality is static, but would be interested to know your types. I don't know my types. I I don't subscribe to that thing at all. I don't know what it's, how you it's talk. well, all it is is a way to talk about people. Any sorting system is a way to talk about people that gives you commonality. And it's a tool like any other tool. I, I have a book where I put one in there myself about how you use your resources. And when you're in business, that's the single most important thing. Will I help you or not? So when you read any of this stuff, take it, in my opinion, as exactly that, a way to sort. Is it a that's German it. shepherd? Is it a is it a healer? Is it a rat terrier? That's all you're looking for. And it gives you a way to discuss people. That's it. Yeah, the best that's for me, the best part of the the only good part, I would say, to any personality test is the debrief if it's well done. And the debrief, if it's well done, from, from my point of view, sh should be, if any of this were true, what, if anything, would you want to do about it? It's just, it's just a model. All models are inaccurate. Some are helpful. And if you, yep. if you imagine that it was true, what, if anything, would you want to do about that? Yep. Yeah. Scott, just, you, the you, only problem I have with MBTI is the absolute certainty that people have surrounding those types. They're a great model. It's a great way to help you view people differently and help you maybe communicate differently with people. But when you bring in that certainty, that kills me. Well, guys, let me tell you, we we're about five minutes from our premiere this week. That's exactly the problem with everything in people, Scott uh, Chase, is everybody that's coming in here has a an absolute certainty or a portion of these people have absolute certainty that Grush is telling the truth or Fravor is telling the truth. And if we say the opposite thing, it's hurtful fundamentally then because it's part of their Maslow's hierarchy. Their yeah. esteem is based on what they know about the case. So, guys, when you get offended with us and call us stupid and, well, I don't care. I don't, I don't care. You, you know, if you disagree with me, that's okay. When you go to call me names and stupid, I'm just like, yeah, you must really be passionate about Grush that you've never met to call me stupid. I'm happy with that. When people call me names, there's I know that the Japanese have developed this uh, microscope. It's it's the uh, hadron, I think it's the hadron electric electric uh, microscope or whatever it is. And not only can you see the atoms if you use this, you can actually see the electrons and the protons uh, circling the atom. You can see the little hairs on the protons and electrons that are coming off there, and the things on those. If you use that microphone, you. Alexa, stop. Uh oh, here we go. He's got Alexa. Call the He's calling the police. Anyway, if you use that micro that microscope, you couldn't find my interest and in whether I cared if somebody liked me or disliked <laughs> me or what they called me. There, there's no way possible for me to care any less. Isn't that horrible to be that way? To not to be that unconcerned, or is it that horrible? I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. Hey it guys, is. you got. We got four minutes. One of one of the things I'd like to let's just talk here. Um, you ask how we found shows. I go every weekend and I dig through what's pop culture, what's going on. I hate pop culture and I hate true crime, and it's all we cover, it appears. But I have one this week that's interesting, and let's see what people think. Um, instead of doing a long, drawn-out show about one person, I thought we might take two people who are in the news. Good example right now. Um, the Breiderman ex-wife has just been arrested for his murder in Orlando, if you don't know that story. Um, and then the other is the death cap mushroom 
murder case. What if mm -hmm. we string two of those together? You guys out there who are listening, thumbs up, thumbs down. What do you think? Yeah. So anyway, real quick, what happens is Greg finds the story or he finds the person and then he'll text me and go, what do you think about this? We'll talk about that back and forth. And go, okay, I'll cut it up. This last time, there's we, ha we have about three that are ready to go, but Greg is finding things that are popular in the news. So then I'll say, wait, we're not going to, we, we shouldn't do that. We should do this one. So we'll go over that and look at it. And he'll go, okay, I'll cut them up. So what we say when cutting them up is, is he'll take it and grab the times. And then once he gets the times, I'll go download that video he's talking about. And I'll actually cut them up and put them in the Dropbox. And we all get to look at them. And we don't talk about them before that. But we all look at them and go, okay, I think this, this. You write your notes or whatever. And then we do the show. Everybody comes Everybody comes on and says, says what they think. So and we really, try. That's a whole lot of thumbs up. <laughs> Me and Greg and Mark all try to talk about it before. And Scott's like, yeah, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. They'll say, well, I think he's so and so. And it's like, we got to wait. So if we disagree, you know, we'll disagree with you. So yeah. if we, we haven't fussed yet, really. Have we ever fussed on here? We don't fuss. No, anymore, we, I mean, well, we respect each other. And I think that's the single most important part of this is I respect your opinion. Even if I have a different one, I'm going to explain where I come from. And you do the same. I, I love that about this team. Yeah, I mean, you're hoping for different opinions. Otherwise, yeah, it'd be man. tedious, wouldn't it? It's so like yeah. just have four of me or four of Greg. Like that would, you know, that's that would be be horrific. Um, I mean, four of my Chase, mother's nightmare. Fantastic, my mother's nightmare for me. <laughs> yeah. All right. So in two minutes, the other show is going to start. Is going to premiere, yeah. and it's really good because somebody was asking, "Do you ever? Why don't you ever do someone who's telling the truth?" Well, we're going to see that in this one. It's Here fascinating. So it's mm. going to be uh, a, a comparison of someone telling the truth and someone uh, that we feel is being deceptive. So hang on, go over to the um, premiere now because it's going to start in about one minute. So let's get off here and let's do this again, you guys. I think this is kind yeah, of yeah, this was too this long. Fun. If you like it, tell us and we'll do it again. Yep, enjoyed All that. Right. See you guys in a minute. Yeah, get over to that other video. Get over to that other video.